Lads, 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 ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video on the Chef United Way YouTube channel. And today we're going to be looking back on the 2010-11 season. But don't worry, we aren't taking a look at the first team who were relegated to League One, no, no. We will be taking a trip down memory lane to see who played in the 2011 FA Youth Cup for the Blades and where their careers took them. Lads, lads, lads. Now, we were playing Manchester United in the FA Youth Cup final, and a few of their players went on to do OK in the game. But for the purposes of this video, we don't care about them. It's all about the Red and White Wizards. As the FA Youth Cup final only changed to a single match format in 2019, we played the first leg at Bramall Lane, which finished 2 all with goals from Callum McFadzian and Jordan Slew. But unfortunately, Manchester United ran out 4-1 winners in the second leg at Old Trafford, with the Blades scoring a consolation through Joe Ironside. So, now you know the game finished 6-3 on aggregate, let's find out who played and where they ended up. First up, George Long. Or George Long. Hull City, League One. George has been on previous videos as he was playing in goal for Chris Wilder's very first game. However, he didn't last long as Wilder's number one goalkeeper. But that doesn't mean he hasn't had a steady career. He managed just over 100 senior appearances for the Blades, and it was once reported that Manchester United were interested in the young goalkeeper. However, his form dipped and he was eventually moved on to Hull City, where he's currently the understudy to Matt Ingram at the top of the League One table. Ben Montgomery, not attached to a club. Ben was released by Sheffield United shortly after and drifted out of the game. No relation to Nick Montgomery, and not a lot else can be found out when searching the web. But if anyone in the comments knows what happened to Ben after leaving the Blades, please let us know down below. Aaron Barry, Bray Wanderers, Republic of Ireland, First Division. Irish-born Aaron left Bramall Lane after failing to break into the first team. Before leaving the Blades, he was sent out on loan to Dumbarton in Scotland to try and progress the young lad, but unfortunately it didn't work as expected. He then went back to Ireland to play for Derry City, and he currently plies his trade in Ireland's first division for Bray Wanderers. Harry Maguire, Manchester United, Premier League. The most successful player of this young Blades crop by a mile. Harry played over 150 times for the Red and White Wizards first team before being sold to Hull City for a measly 2.5 million. Later, Harry played for Leicester City before his 80 million pound move to Manchester. He's now a senior member of the England team and he leads Manchester United's team out at Old Trafford as the club captain. He's still only 28 too, so has many years in front of him to achieve further great things. Terry Kennedy, not attached to a club. Born in Barnsley, Terry Kennedy was highly rated in Sheffield United's youth setup before turning professional. Very highly rated by Nigel Clough and coach Chris Morgan, labelled as the Ginger John Terry, but suffered with knee problems, which ended his career with the Blades. Terry was released in 2016 after playing 19 senior games over a six-year period. He was taken on by Alfreton Town, where he played one season between 2016-17 and then played for Harrogate Town for one season, scoring nine goals in 31 games. Not bad for a defender. In 2018, he moved to Geisley, but in October 2018, Geisley confirmed that Terry had left the club due to work and personal commitments. A case of what could have been. Matty Harriot, Bedford Town, non-league. Matty played five times for the Blades' first team, making his debut against Doncaster Rovers in January 2011. Whilst contracted to United, he had loan spells at Burton Albion and Alfreton Town before joining Northampton Town on a permanent deal. He could only make five appearances before he was sent out on loan to Hayes and Yedding United, who then signed him permanently. Since leaving Hayes and Yedding, Matty has played in the United States for Wilmington Hammerheads before coming back to the UK and is still playing for Bedford Town. Corey Gregory, Osset United, non-league. 
didn't make the grade at professional level, unfortunately, and moved into non-league football. He played for Stocksbridge Park Steels, Matlock Town, Staleybridge Celtic, and joined Belper Town in 2020. Now 28 years old, Corey Gregory plays for Osset United and also works as an electrician. The captain, Elliot Whitehouse, Forest Green, League Two. Currently at Forest Green Rovers, Elliot worked his way back up the football ladder after being released by helping Lincoln City win promotion from the conference, scoring the winner at Wembley in 2018's EFL Trophy final. He was offered a new contract by Lincoln City at the end of the 2017-18 season, but instead signed for their local rivals and fellow League Two club Grimsby Town on a two-year contract. Unfortunately, injuries got the better of Elliot, and he has moved on to Forest Green Rovers as of last year. Joe Ironside, Cambridge United, League Two. The Burley striker made a handful of appearances for the Blades' first team and signed for Alfreton Town after being released by United. He scored over 40 goals for Kidderminster Harriers between 2017-19 and earned a move to Macclesfield Town. In 2020, Joe signed for Cambridge United and has scored 11 goals in 35 games for the League Two side. Jordan Slew, Morecambe, League Two. Jordan left the Blades in a £1.1 million move to then Premier League club Blackburn Rovers. And in 2012, if you were asked the question of which player from this team would be the most successful, you would have said Jordan, no doubt. However, after making his Rovers debut at Old Trafford, he tumbled down the leagues in rapid fashion. He went on loan to a number of League One and League Two clubs, but after five loan spells which saw him make 48 appearances, only scoring three goals, Jordan went back to Ewood Park and eventually had his contract terminated in 2015. Since then, Jordan has struggled to find a home, after featuring for teams in League One, League Two and even the non-league. He's now playing for Morecambe in League Two and has scored one goal in 28 games. Callum McFadzian, Sunderland, League One. A Scotland under-21 international, Callum made it to the United first team and scored in a playoff semi-final against Yeovil in 2013. After a few unsuccessful loan spells, the Blades didn't renew Callum's contract in the season of 15-16 and he dropped into non-league with Alfreton Town and Geisley before making his way back into the Football League. He has since turned his career around for Sunderland in League One and has just won the Papa John's Trophy. And finally, the manager, John Pemberton, currently not attached to a club. John was the manager of the youth team between 2010 and 2012, but had aspirations of becoming a senior manager. He left Sheffield United in September 2012 to rejoin the coaching staff of Nottingham Forest as the professional development coach. After being appointed as the caretaker manager of Bristol City twice, he moved on to Chesterfield and took the job as their new academy manager. He became caretaker manager of their first team in the following December after Martin Allen was sacked, and since then he's been manager of Kidderminster Harriers and Chesterfield again. He is currently 56 and without a club. And there you have it. I think that proves that it takes a lot more than talent to become a professional footballer at the highest level, as even some of the Manchester United players didn't make the grade. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this interesting, and if you did, please like the video and subscribe for more Blades content. Oh.